Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch Sea channel and I have me another box, yes sir. It contains the GG JJ Pro P200 and as you can see it is a quadcopter. A acrobatic uh, 3D style of a quadcopter. Now you might not know the brand GG Pro and that's actually a sub brand of GGRC. So what they are doing here is basically trying to uh, market a few new products as more of a pro level of uh, products or quadcopters in this case. And uh, let's see, yeah, P200. Um, as you can see they use the same box for the P175, 175 which is a slightly smaller quadcopter with uh, basically the same design language so to speak. Um, I got this one from Banggood, I'll have a link in the description down below as always so you can check out the pricing and availability. And it comes in two flavors, it comes as a ready to fly which I have so it comes with a radio and everything you need to fly apart from double A's for your radio. And it comes as a bind and fly and that, in that version you'll have to provide your own radio gear. Okay, the box has a uh, carrying handle as you can see here, that's very nice of course. Uh, the quadcopter does not fit into the box with the propellers on it. Now in this video I will of course show you what's in this box and give you the details on it. Uh, I'll also show you some uh, added products I ordered with this quadcopter to improve uh, the performance and um, the ease of servicing of this uh, quadcopter. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Don't click away too soon. And yeah, that's enough about the box. Let's see what's in this box. All right, the first thing I want to show you is this radio that comes with the ready to fly version. Now it is a very basic radio, as you can probably tell. It is very thin, by the way, uh, which uh, makes it quite comfortable to hold like this. Um, so if you are a pincher or a thumb flyer this, this works out pretty well. Uh, you have good access to the switches and, and obviously to the gimbals. Um, yeah, Once again a very basic radio but uh, the slop in the sticks is uh, no more than I'm used to uh, from uh, more expensive radios. The stick feel is pretty okay. Um, yeah, you've got two, three position switches, which is nice. Um, out of the box, this switch over here is set up for your uh, flight modes. And this one is set up for a beeper and I'm not sure what else. Um, I've switched things around. For me, this is my mode switch. And over here, I've got the beeper and air mode. But uh, in clean flight you can set that up to your liking, of course. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have a screen and it's only six uh, channel. Um, what more do you need for a quadcopter, really? Uh, it doesn't have a uh, breakable antenna, as you can probably tell. That's very nice. Yeah, um, if I wouldn't be reviewing things, I probably would have gone with the uh, plug and fly, so the one uh, that you'll have to provide your own radio for. But I wanted to give this radio a try, and uh, so I can uh, tell you if it's any good. The, 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 the sticks feel very sharp, they uh, hook onto your thumbs very well, by the way, and as you can see the gimbals or the sticks on the gimbals are aluminum, which is a nice touch. Alright, the quadcopter comes with a full set of uh, propellers and at Banggood you uh, don't have a choice in colors, you get a random color, uh, which will be one of these three colors. Uh, this is what sand camo, blue camo and green camo. And you get a, a full set of spare propellers. And these are 50, 45 uh, bull noses. And I'll get to an upgrade to these in a minute. I won't, I will probably not be using these. Um, they are 
probably good to get to know your quadcopter and uh, yeah after a while you'll be uh, spent on the propellers you'll be crashing a few times and uh, then uh, these propellers are done for after that I have a nice upgrade to these propellers which will uh, which will perform better for you all right the quadcopter comes with a charger with a charging lead uh, mine came with a US plug and an adapter to a European plug uh, that's very nice. It is a balanced charger and <laughs> this is really a bit of a mistake. Um, it has a 2S or 3S balanced charger and it really should have been a 3S or 4S balanced charger because this quadcopter is meant to be flown on 3S or 4S. Uh, so yeah. But with the LiPo provided in the package you can charge it up with this charger. Speaking of, yes the quadcopter does come with a LiPo and it's a 3S 1500 mAh LiPo 30C. Yeah 3S, uh, we are kind of moving to uh, 5S in the quadcopter land but uh, with this LiPo the quadcopter performs actually pretty well. Um, yeah, obviously you can also uh, buy a few uh, 4S LiPos but I was actually uh, surprised by uh, how well it performed on the on a free S lipo and as you can uh, see the lipo comes in this very nice pouch very nice touch all right we've almost arrived at the quadcopter itself you get two uh, straps for a um, action camera very nice two straps so one extra you get a few tie wraps and a bind plug remember this is the ready to fly version Alrighty, finally the star of the show and as you can see I already have different propellers on it. I'll tell you about the propellers in a minute. And let's see, yes it is a X style of frame as you can uh, clearly see. And um, yeah in the past quadcopters had a longer center section, right? And uh, you see a lot of new quadcopters that are built up um, upwards. So in a tower configuration. Actually the LiPo goes uh, underneath it as well which will make it even higher of a stack <laughs> and you can fit a action camera on it as well which again will make it even higher of a stack. Now let's see. Um, it has uh, motors. Yes it does and they are actually Emacs red bottoms not uh, clear to see RS2205 uh, motors 2300 kV uh, details on uh, everything are in the description down below as well by the way um, pretty nice uh, motors uh, far from bad uh, not uh, top level not the best you can buy but uh, at the price of this quadcopter very nice and uh, ESC's are as well as you can see they are mounted on the arms and they are 20 amp Emacs Lightning ESCs. Um, I'm not sure what kind of uh, BL Heli firmware is on them at the moment, but I'll fly it stock so you can uh, have an impression of what it flies like stock. Right? Um, yeah, very easy to access the ESCs as well. If you need to replace them, very easy. Solder points are over here. You don't need to take the quadcopter apart to do maintenance on this quadcopter. Very nice. Um, yeah, the motors are also protected with these plastic motor guards, um, which is nice. Uh, it does make it a little harder to screw the propellers or the prop nuts on there. And I'll get to that later. I'll have a tool to help you with that as well. All right, let's see. It has a, I think it's an, um, a NACE 32 flight controller, uh, which is fine by me. It does not have an OHD. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, so it's, yeah, the quadcopter is not perfect. Uh, it does have an uh, FV camera at the front, which is angled up very aggressively and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that but uh, the receiver that comes with the ready to fly is pretty pretty big and uh, with that receiver over there 
I can't angle the camera down to less than 45 degrees. Um, yeah, so this, this will be an aggressive flyer. Um, ordinarily I uh, use a, uh, a 40 or 35 degree angle on my FEB cameras. I'll just try it like this. And um, if, I, if I don't like it, I'll replace the receiver with a smaller one. And um, the video transmitter is uh, bungee corded over here at the bottom of the top plate. And it is a 48 channel, um, 600 milliwatt uh, transmitter. Um, so yeah, it, it's not a race quadcopter anyway, so I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, you should uh, get good penetration with that in the woods. So that's very nice. And at the top over here you see the camera mount. There, camera fits right on there and uh, yeah, the, the quad comes with uh, two straps to uh, secure that in place. And to get to my first tip on this quadcopter immediately, I would uh, paint some Plasti Dip on the carbon fiber of this mount, so you don't scratch up the screen or the back of your uh, action camera. Um, if you don't know Plasti Dip, Plasti Dip is kind of a paintable rubber. Um, obviously, you can also glue some foam onto onto the carbon fiber over here. Antenna is nicely secured with a tie wrap. That's nice. Uh, the quadcopter comes with this clover leaf antenna, which is right hand circular polarized. Very nice. And at the back over here, you have your XT60 connector. Now, like I mentioned before, the battery is uh, mounted at the bottom over here. And there's this uh, carbon fiber plate that uh, kind of protects the camera a bit. It is also wider than the camera. So it provides a bit of uh, extra stability when on the ground as well. And now we are looking at the bottom, you also see a few LEDs. Now with this 1500 3S LiPo, those LEDs are mostly out of sight by the way, because this LiPo is pretty big. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it is what it is, right? Now a second tip on this quadcopter is this piece of foam I've uh, double sided taped to the bottom. And I'm not sure if it's visible, but there are screws at the bottom which hold on the arms, of course. Um, and those uh, make contact with the LiPo. Yeah, so uh, in a uh, unfortunate landing, those will uh, pinch the LiPo. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, definitely a mandatory thing to do. Add a piece of foam to the bottom so your LiPo doesn't hit those screws. And now that we are looking at the bottom, you see that, uh, well, the, actually the, the entire frame is carbon fiber and the arms are pretty thick. Uh, looks like four millimeters. I'll check that. And if it's not four millimeters, <laughs> I'll put that on screen. Um, it feels very sturdy. Um, I'm happy that the top plate isn't a one millimeter version. It looks like two millimeters. So uh, yeah, uh, your uh, FPV antenna won't break out on the first light crash. So that's very nice. All right. Um, so far, I am quite impressed with this uh, package. Very nice configuration. Uh, the frame looks and feels very sturdy. Um, nice motors, nice ESCs, uh, a very decent flight controller, integrated uh, PDB. Uh, the arms are replaceable. Uh, they, they aren't a one-piece uh, arm configuration. Um, there are a few things uh, you uh, need to look out for. Um, put some padding or uh, plastic dip on the mount for your GoPro. Put some padding uh, on the bottom to protect your LiPo. And um, like I mentioned, it is pretty hard to uh, hold on to the motors while uh, screwing on the prop nuts. And that's where this set comes in. It is a little wrench there for the prop nut and a key to hold on to the motors. You can uh, hook these around the motors and this uh, protrusion 
hooks onto the ridges of the motor. Uh, very inexpensive uh, carbon fiber set this. I definitely pick this one up if you order up this P200 or the P175. And propellers. Um, these are King Kong 40, for, uh, 45 propellers, three blades, which will make your flight far more smooth. Uh, they will last longer. And um, yeah, so I'd uh, recommend these over uh, replacing your stock propellers once you've uh, gone through them. Um, these are at this moment my go to uh, propellers uh, and in this size. Uh, very efficient. Um, I'll, you'll probably see that in my flight video or hear that. They aren't very noisy and like I said, they are durable. So uh, very nice propellers and definitely an upgrade for this P200. Now that's um, everything I uh, have to tell you about this uh, quadcopter. I hope to be able to show you uh, some first test flights with it in a very near future. I'll test it in 3S and a 4S configuration, uh, see what the basic tune is. And um, if the tune is uh, way off, uh, I'll uh, do some tuning for you, so you can see my tune of this quadcopter as well. For now, thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye!